Hey folks, today's a wonderful day. Every day's a beautiful day. Oh my God, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Uh, can I say that my first week as a sex worker has been extremely eventful and I love it. Whoa. There's an issue about my dick size. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Whoa. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? So Twitter has been on fire. Fire. Fire about my dick size and uh, uh, this one idiot said that I had a baby carrot for a dick. I have slack. Whoa. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay. The average penis size in the world is 4.6 to 6 inches. Margin. That's a lot bigger than average. Whoa. Eight inch bagel, that's my type. Right? The point is, is that I baby carrot for a dick. I don't. Do I, honey? And it's not true. Right? Can take their member and it has floppage and you can swing it around. Okay? Three quarters. Five and three quarters inches is the mesh baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick, okay? But there's an issue about my dick size. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. Okay? And it's not true. Right? Okay? Baby carrot dick. That's a cool song. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Happy... What is today? Oh, Thursday. Oh, my gosh. It's been... A very long 24 hours. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, that was a lot last night. If y'all missed it, it's all good. There's multiple people who grabbed it because right around after like the 10 hour mark, Twitch yeeted her stream. She got suspended for seven days. There could be a lot of reasons why that is. I have my suspicions. Um, but I know XX archive grabbed it. I was able to grab it. There were multiple other people that got chunks of it. So people have it and we are going to watch it. Kim Wexer's ponytail. Oh, I love your name. And I love that reference. That's amazing. It's a great show. That's a great show. Mary sunshine. Oof and oop. Yep. There's going to be a lot of those tonight. A lot. And I was thinking about cutting out parts, but honestly, it's all so good. There was just no point. At first, oh, she said, the, oh, okay. Well, she said the N-word. So, yeah, I guess uh, she'd get yeeted for that. Oof. Guess she just couldn't help herself, right? <laughs> it's amazing um, who defends her, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys. Uh, welcome to, <laughs> welcome to my stream. Um, for those of you who are new with Shani, this is this, uh, 10 hour stream that we are going to do in parts over the next week or so. Uh, we are definitely going to show you a perfect example of why people call her a monster. To be clear, I don't think that either one of them are good. The only true victims in this are the children period, and the animals. Those are the only two uh, living creatures <laughs> in this scenario. And thankfully, the kids have been taken by CPS. And the animals, I think the animals are still there, but hopefully they won't be there for long. Um, but 
this did make me feel kind of, it made me feel a certain type of way because even though Rev is a sack of shit, uh, the way that she was abusing him last night was way over the line. I mean, like way, way over the line. So the first thing I wanted to show you actually is, um, uh, let's just get started, I guess. Get started. And you guys let me know if you can hear this okay. All right. And let me see if I can. There we go. Tell me if y'all have good good audio on this. Don't let them get to you. They're idiots. So, uh, by the way, I'm sorry. I just started. Um, I didn't catch this till about 14 minutes in. However, I think all of the good stuff was after this point. I need a drink. But anyway, we've been talking to the kids all day. It's cool. Yeah, I know. But where was I? Oh, yeah. Stop distracting me. I'm telling a story. But. Sorry. But male doctors, they have this thing where they're just. Okay couple of things you're going to see it kind of uh skip every so often i was able to download a, a brow extension to block the ads so that's it blocking the ads there was no way around that obviously and also there's people in the chat posting the uh website and the number to a db hotline trigger warning just, i'm just warning you it's pretty it gets pretty bad just gentle like it just it they just like they make sure that it's like over lubed which is nice the speculum i'm talking about they make sure that it's over lubed and, and and they're just they just gently and slowly place it in i like that it's better than a woman just <laughs> that hurts like fuck That hurts like fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. <laughs> I'm sure. Mine is male. Yeah. Does any other females have like a similar experience with gynecologists, male versus female? Or do you think female is more gentler? Or do you think the males are more gentler? I can't decide which one. I can't decide which one. Oh, what has she I done mean, with her listen, hair? You, <laughs> Not washed like, it. We're working on our mental health. We're taking care of ourselves. <laughs> That's good for mental health. Mm. And you want us to be miserable and crying when we're working on our mental health. I don't think you know how mental health treatment works. So just like Bullhorn, Betty claims to be an advocate for all of these other things. She is no different than any other Lowell's cow. They always claim to have, quote, studied law. That's what Jason said today is he studied law. He knows about the law. And she's always claiming to be a mental health advocate, a victim's advocate, blah, blah, blah. They're all the same. They all say the same things. Uh, true story. Uh, thank you for super chat. Kids were removed. She's high AF. Yeah. The kids are gone. And this is what happens when there's no inhibitions for them to, yeah. That this is what happens when the kids are gone and she knows that she can just do whatever she wants and no one's going to call CPS on her because there's no kids there. Oh, I agree, drafter. I don't feel sorry for either one of them, but she did cross the line. I'm sorry. I got my tears out. Welcome to Shani trying to move on with her life and trying to just make myself happy so I'm not miserable. Or do you want me to be miserable so you have some sad excuse to make a video about it so you can make some money for yourself? You jealous because you lost your, I don't even know how many channels you've lost now. Shut the fuck up. Um, did Shelly, Shani get her kids taken? Yes. This is like the fifth time that she's had her kids taken. Yep. They've been gone for a couple I'm of done. days. I'm over it. Fuck them. 
I'm not sure, Lamar. for males. Yeah. Thank you, Alice. You need to rest and work on yourself. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm taking this time on doing. Sorry, I'm too happy for you, freaks. You're not acting the way I want you to act. Yeah, I hope she never gets her kids taken. Look at her. The whole jug, y'all. <laughs> the whole jug. Get over it. Okay? I'm sorry my life disturbs you so much, but maybe... Maybe if you're so overly emotional about my own life, maybe you should stop watching me. It might be best for your mental health to just stop watching me instead of getting really fucking weird about my life. Hey, Platinum. Hey, Anna. You're a viewer. Just remember that at the end of the day. <laughs> you're a viewer. I'm a content creator. Boundaries, you know? <laughs> There's boundaries you wouldn't like if someone was trying to invade in your personal space. Ooh, that's not going to age well at all. You know, boundaries. Please learn boundaries. Yeah, she's a horror cow. You're being weird. What's up, Reno? You should be number one priority. I am being a number one priority. What's up, Steph? Am I drinking the good old Southern staple? Well, it's diet iced tea, but it is sweet. So it's diet sweet tea, Freddie. And yes, I am drinking the good old Southern staple of sweet tea on a hot, hot, sunny day where you feel the breeze on your neck and it's nice and warm. Woo! Translation, they have no AC. <laughs> What does she know about boundaries? Uh, nothing. Yeah, she should be number one. We all should be. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rev wipes her ass. She doesn't know boundaries. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing. Stop being weird. I don't want you in my life. You're being weird and condescending. Yeah, I think she took Strong. something. Just go Ruin someone else's fun, why don't you? Strong. You big, stupid bully. Bully. Leave me alone. I don't need you in my life. You're not productive to my life. Do you hear me, Strong? Do you hear me, Strong? You're not productive to my life. You never will be productive to my life. You know why? Because you're a smart ass and you don't know how to learn how to, you know, treat a woman. You need to treat a woman good with respect and dignity, not put her down and invalidate everything she says. What's wrong with you? Do you know how to treat a lady? What's Do you know how to treat a lady? Learn how to treat a lady, okay? That is not the way how to treat a lady. Do y'all see a lady? Cause I, I don't see one. Okay. Thank you. You can go, why? You can go. <laughs> you can go. Black black. Mental Bye-bye. You don't stroke my ego, so I'm going to black you. <laughs> don't tell me what to do with my own life. Thank you. God, I don't even want to talk to people if they're going to be so annoying like that. <laughs> you need to be like this. You need to be like this. Stop. Yeah, she's kind of high. up and just shut your mouth and mind your own fucking business what other people do with their own fucking life. Jeez. Yeah, guys. I'm going to stream for 10 hours straight and put all of my business out there on Twitch. But guys, you need to mind your business. Don't watch. But do watch. But don't watch. Jesus Christ. You uptight fucking people. You need to get the stick like just wedged right out of your fucking assholes and learn how to fucking live again instead of fucking being all up my fucking asshole Whoa, right jesus christ move on with your fucking lives <laughs> i'm trying to why don't you sorry headphone users 
Glug, 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 glug. Why do these people have to be so personal? I'm trying to be an entertainer. <laughs> I look like Jennifer Innocent today. <gasps> Girl, I like that. That's a compliment. Oh, I used to. Have, no, I that's a lie. I used to hair when I was little, you know, from friends. I love that. Yeah, that was a great hairstyle. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Oh, keep them covered, Shani, please. Yeah, people in the chat are absolutely trolling her. Uh, I have to get out of here. Telling her she looks like Jen for Aniston. Come on now. Jennifer, but with anime vibes. Yes. What? Yeah, you look like a hentai, hentai girl. Shani. No. No man. Why? Your boobies are hentai. The boobies are so hentai. <laughs> I'm done with that. My Korean in-laws just uh, cringed, I'm sure. Somewhere. Wow. Ugh. Guys, we got a food Karen in here. Food Karen. A food Karen. Hey, food Karen. Listen, I'm a fat chick. I've lost 40 fucking pounds in two months. Please <laughs> leave me the fuck alone about weight loss. I think I know how to lose weight real fast better than anyone because i guarantee none of you motherfuckers lost 40 pounds in two fucking months so shove it up your assholes food yeah. karen okay so no one believes that she lost 40 pounds in two months at all um people have pulled out pictures of her just a couple of months ago and comparing them to how she looks now she is absolutely bigger in always in all parts of her body so where, where what did she lose hair did she lose 40 pounds of hair because i'm i'm not seeing it at all i am not in the mood today i just want to be happy stop making me miserable let's be happy this didn't Jesus age well people. either miserable fox Jesus Christ. Why are people so uptight now? It's I crazy. don't know. It's like, chill out. What has happened to people? You know what I mean? I know. People used to have, like in the 90s, people used to fucking chill out. But when we chilled with each other, we minded our own fucking business. business. Don't tell me what Susie said. I don't want to fucking know, okay? That's how we were in the 90s. Now it's like everyone's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? 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 What are you doing? What's up, Grampy Lobster? Grampy Lobster in the house. Really huh? 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 What's your money like? Huh? 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 What's your family like? Jesus. It's insanity, ain't it? Totally against, I mean, Jesus. Right. <laughs> right, Trash Panda. You need to chill out on your information <laughs> gathering. Oh, my God. Weird. And it's funny because uh, when she was in high school, I believe she was in high school in the 90s, I think. Um, one of the things that got her kicked out of high school in the 11th grade was because she was gossiping and causing so much drama and causing fights and getting into fights. So the same things that she's doing and saying right now on Twitch and YouTube and Instagram or these other platforms are the same exact things that she's been doing since she's a teenager. So yes, it's total nonsense. My birthday is tomorrow. I turned 27 years old. I'm super excited. I'm going to have a Dairy Queen blizzard cake. Woo! Yum. Go Chobits! Happy birthday! Hey, that's Ooh, yummy you. Those cakes are amazing, actually. Maybe I can write a book about oh. my weight loss journey and be a famous author. No. <clears throat> I ain't gonna go down the Charlie Gold route. She's thirty-eight. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let I myself think... be who I am. No, I think she's either thirty-eight or thirty-nine. Like water. Like water. Let's chill and bees. Shani should write a book about her incredible life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's oh. funny, Adam. She's out of cake. How would she survive? 
Is this a soft core porn? What the fuck is this? Trolls, we're coming to get you. Oh, it's a trolls movie or show. <laughs> Join an expert team of troll trackers who boldly go out. I think the person in the chat was saying that they were 27. She's definitely not 27. She's 38 and she turns 39 later this later this year. After social media cyber bullies and have them meet face to face with their victims. Oh, that would be fabulous. We should go on trolls. I'll be like, you hate me still? <laughs> Thank you, Curious. <laughs> no, I don't think she cares at all. <laughs> She'd rather get high and hang out with her boyfriend than have her kids back. That's a good one. <laughs> my friend brought me an ounce of green today for my birthday. Oh, okay. Well, good for you. Yeah, I agree, True. Smoke one up for me, man. I didn't see anything about G-Man. What did he do? What did he say? What kind of bad boy was he? Do I have to spank him next time I see him? I'm going to be like, G-Man, G-Man, bend over. He's going to be like, what? G-Man, bend over. What? I have to spank you. You've been a naughty boy. Yeah, she's, she's in a position, boy. She's been trying to, oh, I don't like the way she said that. Anyways, she's been trying to hit that for a while. <laughs> oh, Dragnut, thank you. $2 super chat. She's only 22 in Sarlacc years. Very true. There you have it, folks. A scientist said she's only 22 in Starlight years. Now. And then I'll sn step on his back and like spank him and shit. Yikes. He deserves it. I hope you go live tomorrow, Shannon. I got Stardew Valley for my Switch Lite and been playing that as well. Yas girls. By the way, later in the stream at some point, she, she said that uh, when... Jason was still in jail. She told G-Man that if he kicks Jason out of the house, that she would, quote, so fuck his brains out. Yeah. I don't think G-Man, um, ew. Just ew. Things seem to be getting better, hope y'all. Yeah, the boys are all settled in. They're happy. Um, I'm, I've got all my, my appointments all set up and... I, 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 I did my adult in today and I did everything that was on my goal list. How about clean your I'm house? I'm proud of myself. Clean your fucking house, That's what Shani. makes me happy. He made a video about men that won't work. Well, maybe he needs to learn what mental illness is and realize that some people are not capable of working or they'll kill a motherfucker. then that's a problem. Like, if you can't be around people without putting your hands on them, you should be locked up. For real. God forbid some people need to isolate from society because they don't work out with society due to their problems. AKA laziness. I should do a reality TV show? Yeah. I actually asked that with, uh, with William, actually, the other day. Me and William were talking and I was like, I, I was talking about, you know, oh, Amy Slayton left me this message. And my son was like, what? Amy Slayton? You're friends with Amy Slayton? She's really like, not. Yeah. <laughs> I've known them before they got famous. He's like. <sighs> so, Shani, for those of you who are new, because I see a lot of people in here that are brand new to Shani or new-ish. She loves to claim that she is actually friends with all of these well-known YouTubers. And she also claims to know and be actual friends with famous people. So 
She doesn't actually know any of these people. She's just saying it because that's what she does. So I was like, we should have TLC come here and give us a reality show. Like, yeah. think about it. A reality show of getting your kids back from CPS. I'm yeah. sure everyone would be interested. Redemption story. Yes. Or My 600 Pound Life, which I would actually pay to see that. Yeah, dude. That would be awesome. And then William was like, no, I want my privacy. I'm like, dude, listen, it's only eight hours a day. So like what you've already been doing. <laughs> okay. You'll have your privacy. Yep. But at the end of it, you'll be like, have $2 million. So six months what? of eight hours worth of your privacy. That's a fucking job, Will. No. And he's like, you know what? To think about it, I'll do it. <laughs> I don't think that he said that. In all previous streams across multiple years, her, her kids have absolutely said, you know, in the background during live streams have said that they, they don't want her to spill their business. They don't want her to talk about them or mention them at all, period. So I don't believe her. Yeah, CPS took the kids. Amy Slayton is my queen. She's a sweetheart. Like, every the show likes to make her all grumpy and fucking like an asshole all the time, yeah. which gets on my fucking nerves because she's not really like that. That's just Amy when she's like pissed off at everyone fucking picking on her over her weight because she's like, I know. Leave me alone. She, like, seriously, I, I guarantee Amy Slayton would lose more weight if people would leave her the fuck alone about it and just mm -hmm. let her live her life the way she wants to. Yeah. That's true. I doubt that. I hate Twitch because of Oh, I mean Tammy. Ass. Sorry. I saw <laughs> yeah, ta Tammy. Yeah. Talking about Tammy. No, Amy Slayton, I I'm friends with her too, but. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. My brain. Tammy Slayton. I was talking about Tammy. <laughs> Amy Slayton. She's an awesome mom. And people make fun of Amy. I know. Amy, Tammy. Forgive me. I'm old. Not You're not old. I'm 38 years old. My brain, it just sometimes short circuits. RP McMurphy. No, that would be the stupid. But and with Amy, high. I'm always complimenting her baby because that is the most gorgeous baby she has. She has a beautiful son. He is so beautiful and he's just so sweet and he's just so happy and people like to mom shame her. And I just want to just, I just want to everyone who wants to mom shame Amy cause she's doing the best she can and her baby loves her. And that's the most important thing <laughs> is if the child loves the parent, um, not how you parent or how actually it kind of is just because the child loves you does not mean you're fit to be a parent. Um, uh, if you are not feeding your child and you are not clothing them and they are being neglected and abused, you can love your child all you want, but that doesn't fill their belly. You show them love by action and that is taking care of them properly. Perfect. You parent. It's the love. It's the love at the end of the day. That's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Parenting advice from Shani. Okay. Go. Uh, Donald Duck, member for 10 months. Thank you so much. CPS took the kids. Shani calls it a vacation. Yep, she called it a vacay. Great parent there. Isn't old. It is. Getting up there. Aww. I heard. Ow. Yeah, Amy is a fabulous mom. I hate when people mom shame her. Yeah. I, agree, I hate trash. when people mom shame me. Yeah. Because I'm a good mom. I love <laughs> my sons. They're always the first I think of before even me. Oh. Really? Really, Shani? Is that why they're both underweight and you're almost 600 fucking pounds? And when you get food, you eat first? Because they're clearly not eating. 
LG Pandu, thank you for uh, becoming a member. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Case in point, dumpster fire right here. That's one of the reasons why CPS took the kids because I am that mom where I do not take care of myself. Oh my God. I oh. take care of others before myself. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow. Did yeah, you... CPS took her kids because she's so selfless. Okay, all right. You and Jason get remarried. <laughs> well, we were separated. They're not really married, Briefly. by the way. And I just trash and dog his ass. So mad at him. Yeah, you did. At least she's trying to be better than her own mom. Yeah, and that's all you can do. Can you do the splits? <laughs> huh? I want a banana split. Me too. That'd be nice and cool in a banana split or one of those like um, rocket, those rocket popsicles with the red, white, and blue. That's so good. Wow. It's like you could get a job and buy some for yourself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the trolls in this were awesome. <laughs> Is Jason going somewhere? Because she's stupid. That's why she doesn't get the trolls. Again. This is how codependent she I is. I told him not to leave me, but he does leave me. This is why we get in fights. <laughs> she can't stand to be alone. It's like, I need you, and he's off doing his own thing. No, uh, the boys went to a foster home. And as far as I know, they are together, so that's good. Uh, their father uh, <laughs> is in and out of prison for meth. He's not capable of taking care of even himself, apparently, at this point. <laughs> and he's wasting gas. No, I'm not wasting gas. I just turned it over to see how it is. It's working fine. Sir? That's all I was doing. Do you know how yeah, much ejection not. fluid comes out when you go and start it? Oh, my gosh. No. It is my true. My dad used to start his car once a day at least, and then you just let it sit. You don't need to do that, but okay. It's hot out. You don't need to do that unless it's cold. You do need to do that. You should turn over the engine at least once a day, and I just did it, and now I'm back. You don't have to do that, Rev. <laughs> Ejection fluid, right? <laughs> Are you and Neg's friends now? What are you talking about, me and Neg's friends? Friend. I haven't talked to the dude in like fucking over a year. Yeah. You say over a year. Over a year. Like, what do you mean, friends? <laughs> Last time I talked to him, I flashed him on um, Real Stream News. Exactly. Yeah, she porn bombed everyone. Real Stream News is such a weird thing. <laughs> And it was funny too because my titties like just right. flopped. Okay, out. wow, that was really gross. Uh, Jason, you have no ability to call anyone else a loser. Just saying. Out and shit, and they were like, "Oh!" They all liked it. Yeah, I know they enjoyed the show. They they no, <laughs> I threw up. Fucking nags on his freaking uh, uh, this one of these, and he was like, "Yeah." Wow, I was losing my freaking mind. And then I punched my computer. Shit. Shattered the fucking screen. My alienware. The the computer I loved. Mm-hmm. The Lord had to do that. <laughs> okay. Jason is almost right. An engine should be started once a month and driven. Who knows, once Hillary? A month, my dad said once a day. Because he worked on his cars all the time. He had a mechanic mind. She does think every man wants her. Her hearing? Oh, I don't know anything about that. No, I don't I don't know anything about hearing tomorrow. 
It's not wallpaper. Green screen. It's a green screen, bro. Yeah. With a blue screen behind it. Yeah. This is a white wall. That must really make people mad that there's a white wall behind a green screen. I can't breathe. What? Do I trigger you by that? Do I trigger you? Are you angry? Are you angry at me? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> right? Like, who cares <laughs> about her wall? Doesn't make sense. Feel claustrophobic and trapped in the room, you know? Oh. Uh... I don't know anything about dating apps. <laughs> okay. I downloaded Tinder once to see what it was like. You mean you you weren't going on, you weren't like texting Jules about how you're going to leave Rev? Like that totally didn't happen? What about while he was in jail and you were flirting with some dude? Mm -hmm. I bet you, I bet you that she has been on dating apps at least in the last year or so. And I'm like, wow, this is it? Okay, fine. Someone else is going to have to give you that info. I know nothing. I'm an innocent woman. I, I, I don't <laughs> okay. even want to meet a man online like that. Okay. Me neither with the woman thing. No, I, I, I would just want it to be like some kind of spontaneous... Combustion? Like okay. thing that happens. That's the best, yeah. That's the way it should happen. Because there's a chemistry. I mean, we were kind of spontaneous over finding each other, even though it was YouTube. Can I warn people, though, man? There are more and more call girls on Facebook than you can imagine. See, Rev. dollars for an hour. Rev, see, this is where you fucked up. You should have never started talking about that. Now that I'm, I'm watching this again, knowing what happened at the end, you, you should have never said that. $100, two hours, $500 for the night. That's the, the, the prices. See, how did he what? know that? Lots, lots of prostitutes. Hey, Griffin Do Doggo, all's fair in love and war, dude. All's fair <laughs> in love and war. Yeah. Just know that, man. I didn't start this shit. Yeah, that's right. I got some change. I want to go get some drinks. More drinks. You meet good men at funerals. Ah. That's awfully morbid. I mean, if you're trying to pick up guys at funerals, I... Okay. Dead, dead men don't tell tales. <laughs> no, I'm not into that necro shit. Sorry. Necro, necro, oh my god, man. Yeah, he was trolling them. <laughs> Go get drinks, then. I should do that. You could be on the phone, too. Not my trucker hat. What else? I got my keys and wallet. That's it. You're going. Yeah, I can be. Uh, well, I should go to Tahini. Yeah, do that. I'll see you in a minute. I guess I should go. To, I don't. There, it's so much more money, though. It's blowing shit, you know? I mean, like, it's do they not have a Walmart there? I mean, aren't there Walmarts everywhere? I don't understand. I, I Anyway. A few cents. That's true. I'll be back. Buying drinks at a, like, gas station is way more expensive. All right, dude. You want to be a little moralizer, you can be a moralizer to someone else because I know that moral outrage is false, so go morally be outraged somewhere else, man. Totally. Later, dude. Dude. Oh, it is? I just don't fucking want to deal with that type of energy. Very off-putting energy, very negative, passive-aggressive type of energy. Right, because she's never, ever passive-aggressive. If you want to be part of my uh, my audience, you're going to have to be very uplifting, very positive, very happy, because I... In other words, kiss my ass, or I will block you. I just, you know, you threw too many negative ones at me today, and now my patience is, is gone. Sorry, guys. The fun is over. <laughs> yeah, she's so zen. What?
Hmm. We're not getting no Delta 8, guys. Sorry. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> the towel of Shanny. <laughs> yep. And this is where <laughs> it starts to fall apart. Positive tea. Why don't they get that? Because they want, they're jealous. I think they're jealous that I'm happy. <laughs> I think they're jealous that I'm happy. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. I'm totally jealous of you, Shani. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I'm improving myself and they want to keep me down. She's improving herself. But that's okay. not going to happen. Wow. Okay. I have a drive to move forward in life and and to like be the guru i know i can be you know what i mean <laughs> i'm not here to hurt anyone or make anyone sad or mad at it or anything right you're not here to like make people shave their heads or paint a uh, an A on their forehead to publicly humiliate them. Right. Because you would never do that. Okay. I'm the internet's Oprah. Oh, wow. Hello? God, this place is so fucking haunted. Okay, you want to know what just fucking happened to me, okay? You you see the orbs sometimes, okay? That's dirt. I literally thought there was a head that peeked in the side of the door and then peeked out. I just fucking saw that shit. <laughs> Expert out. <laughs> So Drag actually made a really good point uh, earlier today, and he was basically saying that isn't it funny that the second that he leaves and she's there in the house by herself, that she's so incredibly codependent that she had to start making up some story about a ghost and poltergeist and other things going on. And at one point, um, I think it's coming up where she she knocks something over or kicks something and then pretends like it's a poltergeist. And she uses that as an excuse to blow his phone up and call him and call him and call him to get him to come home because she can't even spend, what has it been, like three minutes that she's been home by herself? Like, it's ridiculous. They always come out to play when you have construction on your house. Oh, don't try to scare me like that. I'm not afraid of ghosts. Ooh. Ah. You know what? When Jason comes back, we should put on the necro the necro thingy and, and like talk to them. Oh God. I want Jason to come back to this house now. It's so fucking empty. Watermelons. Watermelon. <laughs> Gavin. Yeah, you just, uh, Suzanne, you just caught a glimpse of a skin tag out the corner of your eye. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. <laughs> My key cats. Do you want food? Yep, they're still uh, in G-Man's house. Uh, It's so creepy in here right now. How do you think your kids felt, Shani? Yeah, I'm feeling petty tonight, guys. I don't <laughs> even have my kids. I'm very you salty know how tonight. That is without them. <laughs> they were my comfort. Well, that's the problem right there. Kids shouldn't have a job. Kids should be kids. Okay, they shouldn't be there to fulfill your emotional needs because you won't go to therapy and get your shit together. Just saying. That is also abuse, Shani. Now I'm in a haunted house or something's watching me.
Uh, I hate old houses. I'd rather have like a chunk of land in a trailer. <laughs> With what money, girl? Than an old ass house. Mm. You're in that house for free, you ungrateful bitch. Oh, God, I'm so creeped out. I'm so creeped out. I'm so creeped out. Starting to call him again. It's been a whopping five minutes. <laughs> oh. Not answering. Uh, you think? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ghosts are trying to evict her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's really, really paranoid and insecure, too. Like, um, she, when she calls him, if he doesn't answer her right away, or if she texts him and he doesn't respond like immediately, she like her insecurities just run wild with her. He better get here real quick because I'm about to squee in pain or horror, not pain, horror. Like, there's something in the fucking hallway, dudes. Trash that you should pick up. It's really fucking freaky. Like, Jason, goddamn him. He has all these weird fucking books in his fucking house. Oh, it's complete BS. Like, it should be around here. I don't see it, though. Like, he has morals and dogma in this house and all these weird, like, occultic-type books and shit. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's just quoting hooker P prices. He was. I'm trying to talk to it. Jason has the technology. I don't have I don't have the to talk to it. Jason has the technology. I don't have the technology. He has the technology. She calling him again. It's probably a rat in their house. Yeah, exactly. Or a bug. Never <laughs> answers his phone. Right? Prostitute phone rage in one, two, three. I just got done with work. Got to get some. Oh, nice. Or raccoons, yeah. Ghosts like seeing and those magic cards would be summoning entities for real, maybe. <laughs> the chat is making her so paranoid. No, the ghost in it isn't interfering with the call, Jesus. I'm interfering with the call. Uh, ah! Now it's fucking throwing things. I'm Performance art. <laughs> oh my god, this is freaky as shit. It's so freaky. It's so fake. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Uh. 
Please, Jason, answer your fucking phone. I'm freaking out. So she's been home for like seven minutes and she's calling him again. <laughs> Trash baggins. Baby. Baby, the ghosts are, are all over the house right now and I'm freaking the fuck out. Son of a bitch. I know. Don't worry about it. I'll be home soon. You'll leave home soon? Yeah, I'll be home soon. Oh, like the ghosts, dude. Oh, you get those home soon? Dude, I literally saw a head pop at the side of the door and then zoom back out. Really? Yes. And things were thrown. And I'm freaking the fuck out. He's such a liar. Okay. And I'm live streaming this shit. And they're fucking with me in the audience. Which makes it even fucking worse. Dude, that's fucking I know, dude. I'm freaking the fuck out, dude. This is some poltergeist type shit. Ghost gate. Yeah, is. I don't want to do this anymore, man. This is fucked up, man. I'm freaked out. I know. I'm wigged out, dude. Yeah. I gotta get in this fucking store. I, I went down, I went to a convenient, uh, not a convenient, what is it? Thank you, store? Tay. What? A goddamn supermarket. Giant? Uh, like one of the, yeah, no, I went to Redner's because it's so cheap. Oh. So I'm gonna go in Redner's and I gotta find some shit. Well, why don't you, why don't you bring me with you? We'll do a shopping vlog. I'm already at Redner's. Oh, you're already at Redner's. Yeah, but I'll come and get you and we'll go shopping after I come back, okay? Huh? Did you hear me after I'm out of Redner's? I'll come and get you? No. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. I mean, you could bring the phone in with you and we'll have a, sh sh a shopping vlog. If you can't tell, she is obsessed and absolutely addicted to streaming. <laughs> I'm not stopping you, dear. All right, fine. I'll call you in a minute, okay? Why are you calling me in a minute? I thought you were going to take us with you. Oh, my God. Shanny. Fine. Thank you. But I'm freaked out. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm just trying to look after you. I don't usually comment these days. <sighs> Come here. So our kids were removed. That's terrible. In my opinion, I, I think it's a great thing that our kids were removed. I hope they never go back. I'll say it again. I hope she never gets her kids back. She should have never gotten them back after the second and third times. This is now the fifth time. She does not deserve to get her kids back. Freaking freaky. You see how blurry this is? Like something's like standing right in front of it. What the fuck? It's just me. That's enough. <laughs> Does he go out constantly to meet other women? Like, that's why he has to hate up or won't answer. I don't know. Maybe. They always get caught in the end anyway. What's that blue thing? A marker? No. It's a blue raspberry ice. Why, Why the fuck is she making videos drunk? That's a great question. It's because she's addicted to streaming.
This is all she does all day is be high. She, it's mostly she's just high and she streams. This is her life. She chose this over her kids. INCQB flow nicotine dispenser. It's got 5% nicotine salt. It's really nice. I have to vape because I have no cigarettes. No, you don't actually sad. have to. You could have used that money to buy food for your kids. I mean, you don't have to vape, but they do have to eat. Nicotine salt. Never heard of it. Yeah. Like, let me show you the box. See, 5% Nick salt. Nicotine is harmful. Do not swallow and keep away from children. Do, don't use if you are pregnant or nursing. Good thing I'm not nursing or pregnant. Thank God. Yeah. I'll do it. She's probably to nah, the that's wait okay. now. It She's is. probably to the wait now where she wouldn't be able to get pregnant anyway. Uh, that's probably a blessing. Hot. It is sticky. It is summertime. And we're sitting on our asses in our cool ass homes because we don't want to go outside again and get burnt. That's awesome, Chobits. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate it very much. Mm. So early in the morning, I woke up and played some Animal Crossing. I had a ball playing it. I need to go back to my... Uh, to play in some Stardew. But I like talking. I'm like in the talkative mood. Probably because I'm, like, lonely and some shit like that. It's been all of, like, ten minutes. <laughs> I got the AC crank so low I can see my breath too cold for me. That would hurt my bones. Dragnut said on his stream this morning that she confirmed she weighs uh, 575 pounds. I don't doubt that. That does not surprise me at all. <laughs> You look like you lost a lot of weight. I have too much weight at once. Yes, my put in face. How much do you have? I have some change in the fucking uh, cash. Calm it's down. It's okay. You know what you should have done, Rev? You should have gone to the customer service counter at the grocery store and been like, can I get an application? Can I pick up some hours? That's what you should have done. Nothing's under a dollar. I have to get Arizona TV again. I don't want that again. I don't mind Arizona green tea. I love that stuff. Okay. Okay. We only got a couple days. Yeah, we only have a couple days. You can do it, baby. We got Kool Aid? Bro! That would be like old school shit, man. Looks, 
right? Yeah, you did kind of waste gas going out. Yeah, wait till she finds her EBT is cut. Yeah, they're going to get a big surprise because eventually, because the kids are not there, she's not going to be getting nearly as much as she was before. That, I can't wait to watch that stream. But it's okay. I got plenty of gas. Thanks to Cynthia. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll make do with what we have, honey. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm content. I'm content. Yeah, this is from last night. Hmm? Yeah, sure. <laughs> John Mango, two dollars super chat, five seventy fives. The cost of a twelve pack here. Rev is still poor. Yep, both of them are still poor. Creatively insane, five dollars super chat. I hope they are using these streams as evidence to keep those poor kids away from her. As a mom, I am disgusted. As a mom of an autistic son, I am livid. Uh, yeah, actually, CPS was watching them. Um, CPS was watching this stream. Yep. EBT cards like food stamps. Really? Yeah. Lovely. I miss you. I wish you'd get home. Well, you can't be outside wasting gas, dude, in an economy like this. Yeah, Twitch took her channel for like a week. Uh, let's see. I'm so tired. Uh, stop it. I know gas is insane in price now. What? It's so much insane, the gas. I'm talking to people on the internet, Jason. Does is that a thing? Because he this is not like the second time I've heard him say that CPS is giving them gas money. Is that a thing? One and two, has anyone heard of that happening? Because that some don't sound right with that. Yeah, how about you stop being so snappy toward me? Yeah, because you're snapping at me over everything I say. And here it starts. <laughs> Buckle up, yeah. folks. You need to start being aware of your tone of voice and inflection. You'll you'll learn this in therapy. <laughs> You're going to have to learn also how to cope when you don't have your meds so you don't treat I people bad. The I need the medication now. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. Oh, they were give oh gas cards. Okay, maybe that's a thing. 
Maybe they gave them gas cards. And this is probably left over. If they actually did get gas cards from CPS, it's probably left over from when they actually still had the kids. Eventually, I'm sure that they will run out because I can't see CPS continually giving them more gas cards if they don't actually have the kids to take care of. You don't feel right? No. Should you be coming home if you're like this? I know. Well, Jason, what you need to do when you're like this is to just distract yourself. How about you come home, play some cyberpunk, and... That's a terrible idea. Like... <sighs> Okay, they're, they're not married, but like she, they call themselves husband and wife. Your supposed husband is telling you straight up, I need medication. I need to call the counseling hotline because I'm not okay right now. And her response as a mental health advocate, folks, is to tell him just to come home and play a video game. Okay, this, mm, okay. All right. Yeah. And there was something else that uh, Drag said this morning, um, and I, I, I've heard other people say this too, and that is, I mean, he just got his meds what, like a week ago. So how did he go through 30 days worth of pills in seven days. The, mm, I, I think that they are taking it or <clears throat> crushing it, doing some things. Uh, why else would he run out of pills that fast? I mean, come on. That's just, you know, my, my thought on that. Aussie, Trisha, thank you. 799 Super Chat. Caught some of this. The gaslighting and manipulation is huge. Felt a bit sorry for Rev. They are toxic, and I'm so glad the boys aren't there. I am too. I'm like, it's such a relief to know because this is not the first time that they've done these knockdown drag out 10 hour, 12 hour streams fighting like this, but I'm so glad to know the kids are not there. So it's very different this time than it was the last time they did one of those 12 hour streams, which was in like what 2021 or something. Yeah. It's, it's a different kind of feel because it's like, okay, now we get to just laugh at you because it's not as sad because the kids are not there witnessing this. What's up, dumpster clips? Well, honey, I. Why don't you come inside? Okay. It's really hot out. You shouldn't be outside. Probably, Elena. Helena. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. No, I get you, babe. Just let him get his meds. Fuck it. So I cut that part out because it was absolute silence. She put it on private. When she came back, this is what she started doing. I just wanted to have a good fucking day. I just wanted to have a good fucking day. <laughs> And that man ends up finding a way how to make me feel completely miserable about my life. All because I wanted to say, please stay next to me. I need you. You're being needy as fuck, Shani. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. 
Grab your snacks and your drinks, folks. <laughs> I spent a half an hour crying. <laughs> I hate loving someone more than they love you. Oh. I hate that. She hates it. Then now you know how your kids feel, huh? That I'm disgusted and horrible of a person for wanting him to be next to me when I'm going through one of the worst parts of my life. I stepped on a bee. Yeah, you abandoned me again. Shamber heard, folks. <laughs> I'm alone, yeah. Yeah, it looks like that. It looks like getting high to him is more important. Like I even told him, I was disgusting for saying this. How horrible. You're so disgusting, you don't understand. I said, Jason, you're going to have to learn how to cope when you're not on your meds. Is that what the doctor told him, Shani? Miss Medical Advocate, Mental Health Advocate? Okay, I'm under the impression, I'm no professional, but I'm under the impression that when somebody is given a diagnosis like he has and they're put on medication, they're told to stay on the medication. They're not told to just be like, you know what, you should totally take more than what you need and then have overlaps of time where you don't have medication and then you just need to cope with it. I'm pretty sure the doctor is not telling him to do that. And he called me disgusting for it. You are disgusting. Disgusting. <sighs> I hate him when he smokes cannabis, dudes. He's so fucking obnoxious and uncaring and. Like you, girl, you really, mm, no, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. Just a complete <laughs> and utter douchebag. Oh, y'all deserve each other. Like he doesn't give a fuck about me at all. Yeah, doesn't he know how much I sacrifice? I don't want my sons with me because of his ass. Here we go. I did the right thing, though. I did the right thing. Putting them in that foster. I did the right thing, though. Because they don't need to live through this. They don't need to see their mom crying every day because that bastard just can't seem to fucking realize that I'm I'm a person too with feelings too and it's not always fucking about him it's not always about you you chose him to, to dick and attention with him well sort of dick but mostly attention with him instead of your kids that's what you did that's why the kids aren't there among other things <laughs> the kids were taken she didn't like volunteer them up <laughs> they told her they were taking them and the kids wanted to go i don't know where he is frankly i don't know where he is All he's been doing lately is going out to the fucking car and running it. I don't know what he's doing in the car either. 
I have no fucking idea. And then he disappears. And then I'm like, where the fuck is he? You know, the, the, it's just so many fucking red flags. And it's like, all I want to do is just be loved. All I want. I just want a little love. <laughs> a little comfort. I can't even get that. I wish he would escape. <laughs> <laughs> Tell a novella. <laughs> I know money's been disappearing too. Girl, what money? <laughs> she is Trust a red flag, right? Oh. <laughs> I don't know where he is. He took off. Hey, what's up, Squid? And I'm here miserable alone. The one thing I asked him not to do. But no, he always has to do this, and he has to do that, and he has to do this. She's been home for like 10, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> she acts like it's been hours or days. I'm not calling him. <laughs> what's up, Crystal Water? I'm not calling him. Fuck him. Fuck him. And then he had the nerve to say this. If you ever call the police on me again, we're through. Oh. Fine. Fine. I'm not going to get hurt by you again. Oh, boy. I hope he didn't take William's money. But it's too much dealing with this anymore with him because he just doesn't care for my needs. At all. By needs, she means he has to be there 24 hours a day, practically attached to her, and he's not allowed to leave her sight. Hookers and cocaine. <laughs> I know. Oh. I know. He got my babies. He, he convinced me it was the right thing to do. Yikes. Sorry, but I do not feel sorry for her at all. None. It's not right what he's doing to me. Yeah, because you have no responsibility for how you've been raising your children for the last 15 years. Okay, girl. What the hello, kitty? <laughs> like your name? 499 Super Chat. I'm a mental health doctor, and I had to take off today because I stayed up all night watching this dumpster fire. Here I go again. Yikes. Yeah, you should use her as an example of how not to be a parent and how not to handle your mental health. How about that? <laughs> this is like a really poor example of someone with Ellie mental health. care about himself. Yeah, she is a piece of work. <sighs> Disgusting. Same, Halapala. <laughs> yeah, LOL, for reals. She did this to herself. She did this to her children. Now this is the consequences. 
she picked him over her kids, and this is what happens. It's all her fault. Ain't, ain't nobody oh, can say dude, it's trying. anything. It's trying. It's trying. It's trying. It's trying. It's trying. I just want to be happy and have peace for once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Quasi monkey make me laugh. It's funny. <laughs> She's been starving her kids. She can sit there and cry. You don't give a shit about me. What do you mean, why didn't I let him? <laughs> Does it look like I can let him do anything that I want? Does it look like I can fucking control him? This is not going to age well. Why didn't I let him? She's 38. Well, like he's got a new side piece. He's going to get in high without you the time differently before he leaves you there alone and starts his new life without you. Remember, he has a buckle and family to fall back on. What are you going to do? I bet he's eating McDonald's or Burger King without you, too. <laughs> Y'all are so wrong. And that was in the chat. I don't know if any of that is true. <laughs> What's up, Soja? Like, how can you leave a woman who just lost her children alone? It's been 25 minutes, Shani. How could you do that? Oh, my God. Oh, he started yelling at me, of course. Of course he started yelling at me. He's been yelling at me all day. Yelling. Just snapping at me. And I'm like... I... Yelling at me. Thank you. He said he met someone in one of his streams. What are you talking about? He said that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Shani is so gullible. She believes everything she reads. <laughs> like takes it as a fact. Yeah, she says yelling instead of yelling. 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 <laughs> oh, here she goes. <laughs> yeah, buckle up. What is this? video going around where you said you met someone in prison? <laughs> what? What? I, I, have to, I have to see the video. I 
Okay, I'm sorry. I got to pause. Think about what she just said. Who would he meet in prison? He's, they don't have the female and males together in a prison. So how was he supposed to meet a female while he was in prison? But of course, she doesn't think about this. She just wants to just completely lose her shit on him. And I almost think that she gets off on attacking him like this. But yeah, I just had to point that out. I hope it's on your conscience that you left a woman who lost her kids for you. Go fuck yourself. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> He's been gone for all of like 30 minutes. And she's like, he left me. I deserve so much better than this shit. You kind of don't, but this is what you have. He just laughs. He just laughs. It is, you're being ridiculous. I mean, yeah. I know he's been carrying his stuff to the car little by little. <laughs> That's so. I know he has. That right there is so fascinating to me is that a complete stranger will type something that is more than likely a whole ass lie. And she not only reads it, but then makes up a lie to back up what they just said. Like that, that blows my mind. Fit and curvy, $5 super chat. Here's Shani. <laughs> Some pity money for your fake tears. Oh crap. Wrong stream. Aha. Got your money anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know if the ambulance was called last night when she was... No, there was no ambulance called last night. Not that I know of. Nope. So he destroys my life and then leaves just like everyone else? You could be fucking honest with me! What drugs is she on? Who knows? Probably all of them. I didn't harm my kids. Yeah, you did. You absolutely did. They'll probably be in therapy for life because of you. Understandable. I've given up too.
maybe it isn't what it seems. I don't know anymore. All I know is I've been I'm just blown. It's been 35 minutes. That's all I am in life is alone. <laughs> she acts like it's been like five years. And I'm so sick of being alone. So sick of being alone. <laughs> and scratch it. Yeah, with their dirty fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. What? What? Platty 49 Super Chat. She works so hard, you guys. You're right. It's so much work to eat that entire cake. And drink an entire jug of a diet off-brand sweet tea, you know? Okay. Hey, Shannon, I feel really bad. I'm coming home. You know why? No. Why? The waiting room waits for something like three hours, and I can't be away from you for a month. So I'm coming home. Yeah, you probably already got what you got. Fuck off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, did you not see Rev's late night video? I did not see that video and it was gone by the time I woke up this morning. So yes, if that's what people were talking about, I think she did, um, pretend to self harm and she, she never does. She lies about it all the time to get attention and sympathy and to emotionally manipulate people in her life. So if that's what you're talking about, yes. Yeah, so maybe there was an ambulance called for that, but for this stream, there wasn't just cops at the end or towards the end. Waste fucking gas. Yeah, she's a narcissist. Maybe whoever he's seeing, she wasn't at home. Exactly, Halafala. Somebody's got to do it. Thank you, dead Twitch name, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, cool, secular. Okay, I will ask him. He's awesome, by the way. I don't know if he has someone on the side. All I know is he takes off quite a bit. I don't blame him. He always has an excuse of why he has to go out. Thank you, Quasi Monkey. No, I'm keeping this live right now for my safety's sake because I don't want anything to do with him. Oop. Well, that didn't age well either. I'm sick of going through this with him. Oh, I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. No, you're fucking not. You're just the same. Uh, Seymour, she always claims that, and there's never any marks. She's just drug-seeking. Uh, Linda, 13 and 15. I don't know. He's just not the same. He's, he's, he's gotten more worse, actually. Yeah, I know. I'm making money staying on stream. <laughs> Yeah, it is really good. No, he's been yelling and snapping at me all day. Yelling? No, it's not.
the door giveaway? What is the door giveaway? Substance abuse, mood swings. Yeah, there's a lot of people who've been telling me that's what this looks like. A lot of people. The Without glare, the there, I think a few do. Feel shame for treating you bad. I want to play Stardew, and I'm going to. I just, I'm just heartbroken right now. Yeah, she gets less now. A lot less. Yeah. Doesn't it seem weird he keeps loading the car up with things? <laughs> now nah, she's believing her own bullshit. Jason spilled the beans on pill sniffing. Yeah, I haven't heard that yet, but would not surprise me because there are people that have said that in previous streams, they've heard her do what sounds like crushing pills in the background. So, I mean, that would explain why he went through an entire 30 days supply in like less than a week. What is the door giveaway? Oh, that sucks. That's true, Pinchy. Yeah, some people listen to her cry and they don't know the background and they they get fooled, you know, and then it doesn't take long for them to figure out, oh, this person is trying to cry for sympathy like Amber did. So what's up, Monica? I'm high on Abilify. Yep, I remember that video. I got it somewhere. I have cried too many times for him. He's just going to take off on me one day. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's horrible. It's all good, Tina. Welcome. Exact. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Cry for him, but not the boys. Excellent point. Thank you for reminding me. She is more upset, like 10 hour stream on Twitch upset over him sending a dick pic to another woman and then talking to all these, you know, prostitutes and um, escorts and, and other sex workers. She's more upset that he's doing that than her kids being gone. Thank you. Great point. I know Freddie. Yeah, I'm not worried about Freddie, guys. We've talked a lot over the years. No, I'm just trying to be happy. Yes, guess who? Yep. The prismatic shard someone had asked, I think, can be used for part of the final bundle. The one in Jojo Cola building to turn it into a movie theater it is also a love gift for, I think, everyone in town. Oh. I need to work on my farm. Yeah, you know, that's her priority, folks, is working on her uh, Stardew Valley farm, not cleaning up her house or feeding her kids so that she can get them back. No, no, no. It's her games. Okay. Not even her health. <laughs> it's all about that game. 
Like, why can't you be honest? Why can't men, like, seriously, why can't men be honest when they cheat? Why do they have to lie about it? Like, I'm already asking. You might as well just confess. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, Omni. Thank you, Scrowell. <laughs> right? She throws hands. Exactly. There's nothing gained by hiding and lying. Exactly. I don't know. He seems very manipulative. Yeah. Thank you, Gray One, for that super sticker. Salt. Yes. And it only gets worse. Love it. He always makes it seem like he's better and he's not. He always reverts back to the monster. That's true, Ivy Rose. That's true. <laughs> yep, get slappy with it. Na 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 na. Uh, no, it's all a uh, Autobot type stuff. That fan certain words. Yeah, they're not married. Yeah, he's going to come home and love bomb me as usual. I know. I know. <laughs> right, Hillary? This is a house that uh, Jason grew up in, but I guess G-Man owns it now. Not sure how legal that is, though. Correct. BBG. Yep. Shani cheated on the man who helped her get her kids back, and now she lost her kids because of the man who she just cheated, who just cheated on her. Hashtag karma. Yeah, it, yeah, she cheated on Chris, who helped her get her kids back, after, like, the third time she lost them. And she cheated on Chris with Jason. Now look at you. It's just not right. It's just not right. Oh, I've been burned so much, and I am really tired of it. Lotus. Especially to people who, you know, I care, care for. Like, why? Yeah, Jax, this is the fifth time she's lost them, actually. I don't know. I'm just really tired of that man lying to me. I wish he wasn't so argumentative. Everything has to be a fucking argument or a debate with him. And it's so annoying. Really, Shani? You're not like that at all? Come on now. Come on. Anthony Reeves Jr., one in a super chat. I don't think Shani ever wanted those kids, in my opinion. Probably not. I don't know. I, out of all the, the streams that I've seen, 
um, even the videos that I've watched where her parents came forward, I don't, I have not seen any evidence that she really I saw them as anything more than just uh, a way to get sympathy and donations online. Um, I think she likes the idea of being a mom, but I don't think that she has ever been a mom. I honestly don't know if she even knows how to love. So that may be part of the problem too. Right? Why can't people be honest and just say what they're really feeling? Exactly. It would save a whole lot more time and agony. Yeah, that's true. He always has to be right. It's so annoying. <laughs> wow, the projection. There's having a conversation and then there's just not wanting to hear another opinion. It's hard to talk to someone like that. I know. So arrogant. <laughs> oh, your real name is Sarah. Well, nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm just really sick of feeling this way. Just crushed and treated like shit. I don't have anyone in my life. Oh, he's back. Here we go. Hi, honey. Enjoyed wasting gas? No. <laughs> It was going to be a three hour wait, honey. Three hours. I couldn't be that long away from you. So I came home. Yeah, after you snapped on me. After I, what? After I, what on you, honey? Snaps. Yeah, I'm sorry I snapped, okay? I am. But I just need my meds real bad. I'm sorry, honey. You didn't get your meds. You wasted all that fucking time and energy and gas. No. It was worth it to see that the thing was too fucking... I think COVID's going nuts. They're wearing masks all, all over the place again. It's getting bad. So it's he is such a I bad liar. Because I'd be exposed. Why do you keep taking your stuff to the car? Because I like... I, I, I always want to be able to shoot a video if I feel like it. I like shooting videos in the car. It's fun. You know, this is ridiculous, and you're just going to do this for the rest of my life, and I'm not, it's not <laughs> any way to do it. Right now, I could be going down to Robert at the corner and hanging out with him and, and smoke a butt. Is that what you've oh. been doing? No, I wouldn't. And that was the moment he knew he fucked up, mentioning Robert. Yep. Does she understand that if she is getting SSDI for her son, that will go to the foster family? Uh, She'll find out soon enough, won't she? I wish I could. Won't He's on she? The street. He said, come down in a couple minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll... Yeah, you've known him a lot longer than what you said. No, I don't. I just <laughs> met him yesterday, the day before he had... I'm done, done. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. Call me a liar. This is gaslighting me and you're abusive. I'm done. He's not wrong. He's gaslighting. <laughs> Accuse me of lying to you when I'm not. I've known him a day and a... Two days I've known Robert. So yeah, let's... Let, yeah, Two days and you're already, you know. He said, I'm looking for friends. He's looking for friends, man, to people to hook up with, dude. He's like the guy's like the dude. He reminds me of the dude. He's cool. Chill man. But the feds got his house. It's bullshit. It sucks. Taxes. So I tried to get meds, man. I tried. You know, and three hour wait, that's it. I just, I sent you a picture, tons of people in there. And I was the last, I was dead last. So I'd have to be going, yeah, three hour wait. I said, I can't do this. My wife will not tolerate me being away that long. There's no way. So I said, I'll see you. She said, thanks for telling me. That's it. 
too long away. Monica, they'll probably get less. No friends for you. Yep. <laughs> Poor Robert. Hey, honey, do you have the tobacco pipe? Do you have that? I don't know where it is. Don't know where it is? Okay. You know, I, I probably had it. Yeah, you probably do. Why don't you check in the car? It's not the car. What are you talking about? I would never take that in the car. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she mutes. She comes back, though. You're welcome, Monica. Why does she care if he's there? And she doesn't even listen to him. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, she wants him physically there as like some kind of parasite, some barnacle on the side of a whale. But at the same time, she will talk over him, disrespect him, humiliate him. She unmutes here in a second. Anthony Reeves Jr., 109 Super Chat. Where is Pergos to simp for these losers? Great question. I don't know. Pergos was supposed to be making some kind of documentary about how we were all so wrong about Shani. Oops. Oops. She's kind of sadistic. Uh, yeah, she, I, she actually is sadistic. Yep. Yeah, he was gone all of like, what, 35 minutes? And that's all this is for is because he wouldn't rush home right away. Like, it's so ridiculous. Yeah, it starts escalating. Oh, he was? That's fucked up. Yeah, she shouldn't out it. She shouldn't have outed him like that. Oh my gosh, I almost deleted that stream because it was so gut-wrenching to even get through. So, but I'm glad I left it up because it, you know, it's just kind of funny how everything has worked out. It's worked out in the exact opposite way that he said it was going to. <laughs> Hope he puts that in his documentary. Let me see. Her head a little bit. She does unmute here in a second. She's big mad now. There she goes. What's <laughs> my favorite color? Pink. What's my favorite food? everything no i don't think he does realize what kind of woman he has a woman who literally sacrifices everything for that man that's a kind of a woman he has i do the same i'm not medicated right now <laughs> yeah nice excuse nice excuse see you give the internet more grace than me Oh, I mean, why don't you go back down to the hospital and wait instead of making my life miserable, saying how much you need meds? You are the one calling him, telling him to come home. 
to leave you. I, I got scared. Yeah, like she, he left to go to the hospital. Now, obviously, he was probably doing stuff, other stuff too, but he did actually go to the hospital to look for meds. And she called him every five seconds and demanded that he comes home. He comes home, and now she's mad that he came home. Like, it's in, she's insufferable. Instead of making my life miserable, saying how much you need meds. Because I, I was scared to leave you. I, I got scared. And scared of what, Jason? I'm scared that you might hurt yourself or something. I'm just scared for you. Okay? I, I don't. I'm not going to leave you that long alone. That's it. Three hours is too long. Yeah, but when I told you I need you now and you left anyway, that wasn't a big deal then. It was. And I shouldn't have left. I, yeah. I'm telling you. I, well, I'm, I'm so, I'm telling I'm you so hopped now. up in the inside. I'm telling you to leave now. I'm not leaving. No. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to waste gas anymore. Well, can you leave the room? Why? Because I don't want to look at you. I don't want you. You don't have me. to look at me, I, Jason. I I have asked you to do this before, and you asked me to do this, and you said you would. I don't There's want. No TV anywhere. Close the you. door. I don't care. Yeah, you don't care. Yeah, I agree, Joey. Both of them need it. Fifty-one, fifty. Mental health advocate, folks. He doesn't want you to leave him alone because he doesn't want you to realize how much you actually don't need him around. Maybe. Yeah, there's a couple times where the uh, commercials. Like skipped a little bit. Huh? Oh. I guess it's kept a lot more than I thought. There we go. It's disgusting to look at, quote unquote. It's so funny. You can't wait at the fucking emergency room to get your meds, no. but you're so willing to smoke pot with someone. I ain't going to smoke pot at all. Yeah, you will. No, and I you'll lie to me about it because no, you've been lying about me with a lot of stuff. Like what? <laughs> what do I like? Yeah, exactly. She's a friend now. I thought she worked there. Now she's a friend. She just works there. But she is a, I consider some people that I go to like that as friends because she talks, she, we talk a lot about life stuff. Yeah, you are terrible. All, all I ever do is care about you <laughs> and do I the best for you. And slap you. And you can't even do that for me. You're abusive to me. I'm not abusive to you at all. Oh, he's right. No, I'm not. You accuse me of cheating all the time and it's never been true and never will be. Well, gee, when you start seeing red flags and someone leaving the house all the time, you tend to expect that. That's what cheaters do. And you can shake your head all you want, but that's your behavior, what you're showing. Well, it's not the truth. Then change your behavior and prove it to me that you're not like that. Okay. If you want me in here, then I'll stay. No, I want you out of my room. Then I'm going to hang with Robert and I'll see you in a while. <laughs> I'm not going to stand around with nothing to do in the downstairs. There's nothing to do Enjoy in the Enjoy your house. girlfriend, you piece of fucking shit. And you accuse me of cheating again. You accuse me of cheating again. Enjoy her. You accuse me of cheating again. Oh. Enjoy her. I don't have any woman. Enjoy her. I don't have any woman. I don't have any woman, Shannon. He should have just left. Shanny, I have no woman, and I'm not going to leave you again because you've said that you wanted me here. <laughs> you want me here, or you did. <laughs> Yep. Can you please talk to me, honey? However this started, I'm sorry, because I don't even remember how it started. I don't remember. I was just telling you I need to get my meds, but it's ridiculous. A three-hour fucking wait? That's nuts. I can't wait that long. I can't. 
for your sake. Yeah, but you can leave me to smoke pot. I'm not going to smoke pot, but I will. You leave to go to talk to Robert then. Yeah, because there's, I'm not going to sit around the downstairs with nothing to do. There's not. There's nothing to do down there. There's no TV. There's nothing. Talking to him, it's something to do. Why don't you go to Robert's house? Why, though? I'd rather be with you and, and, and see how you're doing. Oh, I can keep leaving you. I went for drinks. Yeah, and you came back with nothing. That's because I didn't have enough money. You went to go to the hospital and you came back with nothing. Yes, because I... It was you keep, be a three-hour wait! It's kind of interesting. You keep leaving to do things and you keep coming back with nothing. Because you want me by your side 24-7 and won't let me do anything. Oof! I'm telling you to leave and you won't. <laughs> because I think you're emotionally not doing well. And I want to be here for you. Wow. Why do you think I'm not emotionally doing well right I now? I know. I fucked up. Can I fix it? Is there a way I can fix it? Yeah, go to the hospital and get your meds. I'm not waiting three hours. Fine. Then we have a problem. I'll go tomorrow. Like, in no. the morning. No. What, what are you going to do? I don't know what you're saying. I'm trying to fix this. Whatever I did in the beginning, I'm sorry, whatever it was. I don't even remember what it was. Everything bothers you now. Everything. <laughs> He's spitting some facts, though. Yeah, there's no chemistry between them. None. So funny. I told you how to make things better and you're not even listening to me. Thank you, Carrie. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I'm not going to wait three hours in the hospital for meds. I'm not going to do it. It's ridiculous. Three hours? Shannon, and I could get COVID, definitely. Wait three hours and get your meds so you're not torturing me all fucking night. All right. I'll do that. But I doubt you will. You'll probably go to Robert's and smoke pot because you're a piece of shit. Why would I go to Robert's if I can get my medication? And he's just hanging out for now. He's not around. All I don't time. like him. You, you, I don't like someone who's stealing pot when I'm going through this shit. Are you fucking nuts? Yikes. Are you fucking nuts? You were happy with the week that I got. Here. Are you fucking? Oh, oh, he busted her out. I will back it up. Sorry. I will back it up. Oh, he was like, oh, you were happy with the weed? He was, oh, Rev. Okay. There's his balls. All right. So he's still got a little bit. Just a little, just a little one. Just a little Are you fucking nuts? Are you fucking nuts? You were happy with the week that I got. You. Are you fucking nuts? Oh, there it is. I'm going through a lot of shit, and this is what you're doing? I won't Are you a child? I won't go back to the guy, okay? I won't talk to him. Again. Get out of the house. Just leave Where and get you your meds. Me to go? Get your meds and leave. I don't want to see you. She mutes again. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I thought your eardrums. Oh, gosh. Let me see. <laughs> you were happy with the weed I got you, right? Busted, Shani. No, nah, he's been doing this for a while now. <laughs> Claire. <laughs> Do 
platty 199 super chat stardew valley is amazing right i i love this game it's my favorite He's out of his fucking mind. Yeah, I know Robert's going to hook Jason on something worse than weed. <laughs> Oh, I'm not staying with a goddamn drug addict. So you, I mean, both of y'all are addicts. Yeah, this is, an, this is exactly what he did and how he acted. I mean, do they have an attic in the house that has drugs in it? Is that how that works? Like you buy a house and you just, you walk up a, one of those drop down stairs to the attic and it's like a drug attic. I wonder if it's like that. Must be more. No. I just got nicotine here. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. You know, every once in a while, I like to have some Delta 8 if I feel sick, but with the Cymbalta and the Meloxicam, I don't need it. I told him to go to the hospital. Is he actually going to go? I don't know. <laughs> PB Gate. I'm going to climb your stairs, take all your drug out of your attic. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I will never get my sons back if he's around. And yet you still let him stay there, you dumb bitch. You selfish piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Tommy. Good to know. Thanks. I know it's erratic. Thank you guys for being there for me. I felt bad for him. Yeah, I think it's his house. All he cares about is getting fucking high. He needs to go to rehab. He needs to go to rehab, period, because this is ridiculous. You can't function in life at all, and you treat everyone like shit because you can't get what you want? So that would be you, Shani. You do that. <laughs> she does that every day. I think he is trying to make me my BPD worse right now. He wants an excuse, I think. Yeah, meloxicam is great, Ivy Rose. I love the stuff. It really does help. I think so, Alice. Yeah. 
No, he's not even cool anymore. No, he hasn't been to his first therapy appointment yet. Yeah, he has. I agree, Amanda. Amanda, 515. Yep. He should have kicked her ass out. He doesn't have the spine for that, though. Yeah. I could take him one on one. Like I bet if I called him right now he he won't pick up. How much do you bet he won't pick up? If I call him Calls him again. Just can't stop. He's not picking up. You see? He's not picking up. I've been dealing with this for a while now. Please leave your message for Shannon Dornbush. He used to pick up every fucking call I ever gave him. Right? She told him to leave. <laughs> leave. Come back. No, leave. Come back. Yeah, I think he's with Robert, too. Yep, that's true, Johnny. He's definitely with someone. Yep, he is. He is. <laughs> Calling him again. <laughs> so fucking needy. Uh, why does his voicemail have her name? I think while she was muted, they switched phones. Not sure why, but for some reason, either that or she put that on both the phones. I'm not sure. Just one more call. Just one more. Wow. Wow. What a piece of fucking shit. Yeah, she didn't. That's a good point. She wouldn't answer his prison calls or his jail calls. 
she had no problem being away from him when he was in jail, right? <laughs> now she can't go two seconds, 30 seconds without calling him 5,000 times. It's weird. It's really weird. So that was the end of the first part of it. I had to split it into four parts because it was over 10 hours. <clears throat> but so what'd y'all think? That was crazy, huh? That was crazy. I did want to show you um, just to sort of end. I wanted to show you guys uh, this. Well, let me zoom in. Hold on one second. Okay, so I did find this, or somebody sent this to me, so shout out to that person. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to butcher your name. Yalva? Is that how you say it? $2 super chat. I thought they lived at his uncle's house. Um, they did for the first couple of months. They were in PA, but then they moved into G-Man's house, which is like in like the next town over. It used to be Jason's. It like Jason grew up in that home and then sold it to G-Man for a dollar. I don't know who officially like legally owns it, but that's they they say it's G-Man's home. So they've been kind of squatting in that home. <clears throat> yes. So a couple things. Um, I have this. Uh, this is the actual police report from the incident. Um, I wanted to show this because this is what actually happened. Uh, Traform TO, thank you. Welcome to Dumpster Fire. Hey, what's up, Todd? Oh, you can tell. Okay, yeah. So Todd sent me this. So shout out to Todd Malakote. I appreciate it. Niawe. Um, so here the offenses are first it said simple assault, but now we get to see kind of more details. So the first one was simple assault, and then the second one is harassment, <clears throat> physical strike kick. And then if you look further down, um, it does say that the uh, victim was a juvenile. So that is confirmation for me that the story of him kicking the child is actually true. And then if you scroll down, here is the narrative. Um, it's, it is different than what Shani said. There's no mention of cards. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it says this on June 7th, 2022 at 202 hours, the officer was dispatched to that county, received a 911 call for a physical domestic occurring. The caller, who apparently is the older child, uh, told law enforcement his stepfather hit his younger brother. During the 911 call, a law enforcement could hear a female yelling in the background that she was afraid he was going to do more. I arrived and was met with Jason Egroff, who stated there was nothing wrong. I asked him to step outside and speak with his partner, Officer Manning. P speak with my, par my partner, Officer Manning. I went into the home and spoke with Shannon Dornbush. She stated Jason, her husband, were arguing over a movie he was watching. She asked him to turn it off because she found it to be offensive. Jason had told her no and that he found the TikToks she had been watching all day to be offensive. Oh, boy. Um, she said she heard what she believed to be a loud. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped. Um, Shannon and Jason began getting upset with each other with. Oh, no, I'm sorry. My gosh, I'm totally. It's been a long day. Shannon said Jason began getting upset with her. He then walked into her room. She said she heard what she believed to be a loud smack, then yelled. Then the child yelled. Shannon and her other child went to the room to see what was going on. Um, the younger child told his mom, Shannon, and Jason had just smacked him in the face and then kicked him in the stomach. The older child then called 911. Shani said that she believed Jason did this because he was mad at her. Again, if somebody put their hands on my kid, I'm not going to wait around for the other kid to call 911. I'm just saying. Um, after speaking with Shannon and I guess the child, I asked if anyone needed an EMS. Shannon told me no. See, I got a problem with that too. Somebody kicks your child and you don't want them to have EMS, check them out. What in the world? 
I, mm. Shannon told me the younger child uh, does have autism, had some small redness near his right cheek in the area. He said Jason smacked him. At this time, I spoke with Jason about what occurred. Jason told me Shannon and him got into an argument over politics. And the point Shannon had thrown a full bag of Tostitos chips at his back. Okay. I asked about what happened between him and the child. He told me the child was on his laptop watching YouTube videos. Jason said he told the child it was time to get off the laptop and sh slammed it shut, then screamed. The child and Shannon uh, had come in, I guess the older child and Shannon had come in and started yelling while on the phone with 911. I told Jason what was told to me. And he said that it was not true. He stated that the younger child has autism and sometimes lies about things. At this time, I placed Jason into handcuffs, double locked behind his back without incident. Jason was transported to the Scranton police headquarters. Shannon was giving a given, man, the grammar in this. Shannon was given a domestic abuse packet explained on how to obtain PFA blank I uh, don't know what that sentence said. Uh, the incident was captured on officer's body cam. Uh, yeah. So there was no body cam footage. Well, there was body cam, but they wouldn't release it because it involves a minor. So that's what really happened, folks. That's what really happened. <clears throat> so, yeah. So the fact that, you know, somebody hit the child and... Uh, she refused EMS. Like, I don't, that is unfathomable to me. Um, I also got another update on the Dodge Durango. I don't have anything to show for this. So you can believe me or not believe me. I'm just going to um, relate to you what was told to me. It is a reliable source. So I do trust that with the information that they're giving me is true. But again, uh, do your own homework, I guess. Uh, people have been asking about the Dodge Durango. He actually did a stream a couple days ago claiming that he owns it, that it's his now, right? Uh, it isn't. <laughs> I know, shocker, right? Um, oh, it's okay, Todd. It's all good. Um, this is what I found out, uh, that uh, somebody called, contacted the actual Dodge um, dealership where it was bought and that there is a balance on the Durango, meaning he does owe money. That's a no brainer. They were already behind in payments before they even left Colorado. And it was also confirmed that it's not his and they will be trying to collect on that debt. That is interesting. Uh, I think it'll be very interesting uh, when that starts happening. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Also, I was told that the house that they're staying in, which is G-Man slash Jason, I don't know, who actually owns it, but there are thousands in liens on the house. Right. So I would also venture to say that more than likely the taxes have also not been paid on the house. Maybe that is the liens. I'm not sure, but that's what somebody told me. So that's, th this is a clusterfuck. Th this is all going to come to a head. I mean, look at what's happened in just a short amount of time. This incident happened. He goes to jail. He gets out. Her kids are taken. Now he's cheating on her or whatever. She claims he's cheating on her. It's insane. It's insanity. But that's the update that I have for you today. Um, I would like to go live an extra week, extra day this week, because I know that the other three parts are like two of the parts are considerably longer than the one that I showed today. So I'm going to try to see if I can have maybe an extra day this week to cover this because I would really like to show you guys all of it since so many didn't get to see it before her account got yeeted. But yeah, that was, that's pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Clusterfuck is at best. Yep. <laughs> Homeless drug addict art. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. She said that. I'm like, wow, that, I don't have that in my attic. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I uh, really appreciate you guys <laughs> showing up and watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments afterwards. Thank you for everyone who became a member. Thank you for all the donos. I appreciate it. You guys make this fun. Uh, without you guys, they wouldn't have a stream. So 
can you drop the archive page? Yes, actually, let me um, let me grab you because I know that XX is, got a copy and she is in the process of uploading it, but she'll tell you too, like it's taking forever, forever. Okay, so here is the XX link. Here you go. I think she's got about six hours plus up already. So have fun with that. There you go. She's amazing. She's got a lot of older videos on there too. If y'all want to fall down that rabbit hole. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, you guys have a great night and I will see you in the next one later. Well, oh my God, it's like <laughs> money. Ah, uh, folks. You know it's his face, folks. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Right up, church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Well, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> If I'm going to be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm going to be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Rakur, drink your blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that track cool. Oh my god. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. 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 She wants money. 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 You people are making money off of us. Folks, I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh, well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah.